Hello there. Um, I'm Saim Shutarik. Uh, our today's topic is um, Excel macros. How do we make macros in Excel? So I'll give you a basic example initially. Well, first of all, what macros are? Okay. So macros re uh, record your steps that need to be repeated again and again. So macros are obviously very important. Um, they uh, reduce a lot of your repetitive tasks that you do daily um, so on a click of button or on a short key for example you have values coming in every day and using those values you want to uh, generate a graph from A to till K 40 or maybe you may want is a button that would uh, sort out your data okay so there could be various examples or there's a button that deletes the data so I have some examples over here. Uh, one example over here is there from the book. So obviously if you click on it, you can see it's sorting it out. But I will create my own example to elaborate this. So what we'll do is we'll come into view and view you can see I have is record macro. So I'll click on record macro. You can name the macro as you may want to. You can uh, have a short key. You can even describe what the macro is. It depends on how the examiner tells you. It hasn't appeared in the password portal now. There's a lot of probability it can come. So all these points that are up there in the book and the new syllabus, obviously one should know it. So I'll press OK. So now if I press OK, I'm recording it. Okay, it's just recording the procedure by the way. So if I select this, and let's say if I go to home and let me change this into yellow, and let me add a grid line, and let's say I can change the first column into black. And the last column let's change it into blue so that's all i can even type in values i can even apply formulas while the recording is going on so what i'll do now is i'll just go into macro and i'll stop the recording i'll open up another sheet i'll go into view macros i have lots of macros but i believe this is the macro 3 that we just created so i'll just run this macro you see, it just went very fast and it applied the same procedure. It wasn't copy pasting. Very interesting. What we could do is, we could even do is, we could make a button and we could, we, when you click on the button, the following macro would run. For that, what we do is, in the previous lecture, I told you how to add the developer tab. And I told you, you can add the developer tab from coming into more commands. And in the customize ribbon, make sure this is ticked. Once you do that, the developer tab will be there. From here, I can select as a button. I'll place the button here. As soon as I do so, the button requires me to select a macro, and this is the macro that I want to select. I'll press OK. I can even double click on this, and I can change the text on this, but I'll not do right now. So once I click on this, you can see what's happening. I can even do is, I can record, I, let's say, if I have some data over here, some data, some data on my spreadsheet. And I, every time I want some a button that would delete all this data, I could even do that. So I could record a macro, macro 4. I would select this range and I'll press delete. And I'll just stop it. I'll just make a button. Macro 4. And OK. And this would simply do is delete data so I'll just enter some data in the places and once I click on this it will delete the data one very very important thing is if the examiner asks you to show the coding of the macro you simply go into view macros and you edit it opens up in visual basic so VBA is there at the back end of every office pack. No worry, you're not supposed to know about this coding. You're simply supposed to play, place it in the evidence document if, if required, very less probability. So this is all the entire procedure that is be happening really fast at the back end. The range is being selected, the color being selected, shades and all that, okay? So that's it. So this is about macros in Excel.